Nicole Scott here for Netbook News and here we are in San Francisco and behind me you can see the startup bus. We have 10 coders who have all downloaded uh, Intel AppUp's SDK and they are looking to board the bus for the chance to win $10,000. Actually, I think the winner gets three and then it's distributed uh, down. So this is uh, based on the startup bus concept which was uh, from South by Southwest where you got on the bus and then you, at the end you had a, you know, came up with an actual startup because all the uh, bus entrepreneurs were there. And then you had a chance to actually get your idea funded. So this is kind of the same concept where these guys are actually going to get their app funded. So let's get on the bus. So here we are on the bus. And you can see there's San Francisco flying, flying past us as we head towards Seattle. Here's everyone on the bus. Everyone wave to the camera and show your amazing HD flip cams that we're all going to be taking video with. Woo! That's very exciting. So we'll see how their their amazing flip cameras can compete with my awesome uh, Canon HD camera. I'm pretty sure I'll win, but we'll see. So looking forward to seeing their footage. And here's some here's some nice view for you. So my name's Elia Bizanis. I'm the founder of Startup Bus, and I'm running this Intel Startup Bus Challenge. So the way it works is. Uh, um, they're working as individuals, uh, they, everyone's a developer on the bus and they have to produce something against a set of requirements, so yeah, they have to uh, build something that's going to work in the Intel app up uh, store um, and mm -hmm. they have to uh, develop it in certain languages uh, on the Windows platform, uh, as an HTML5 app or on the Mevo. Mego. Mego, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, the plan is uh, that they have to do it by a certain deadline and um, the top five people will actually win cash prizes based on their ranking. So uh, uh, the person that wins will get $3,000 cash, um, people that come fifth will get I think $1,500. Cool. The original concept of Startup Us was um, a joke over alcohol where I said why don't we try and do a road trip from, South by, uh, from San Francisco to South by Southwest and try and launch a startup by the time we get off the bus. And um, long story short, the joke happened and it became a huge success. And uh, we did it again this year, this time six times bigger, uh, six times the size with six buses and 160 people. And now we're expanding into a you know, bigger organization. Morning of day two in the middle of the 36 hour bus ride. Behind me we've got the bus and the coders and hackers are on the bus. Nobody's actually willing to talk to me because uh, they were all up late last night coding. Uh, apparently some of them had trouble with the internet in their rooms so they all sat in the lobby. Very exciting. I had a little bit of trouble with my internet but I really don't know what they were talking about. I, mean, I was uploading HD video so not really sure why they were having stability issues. Just must be the luck of the draw. Well, so we're about to get on the bus. They're all about halfway done. Uh, we're supposed to be getting to Seattle in the next, ooh, I think eight hours, maybe nine hours. Yeah, in, in about nine hours. So it's eight, it's 8 a.m. right now. We're supposed to get in at 6 p.m. Then I hear there's a dinner, and then I hear that they are presenting their applications. So. Let's get on the bus. Let's see if we can get anyone to talk to us. They're all exhausted. Maybe you've gotten between one to four hours sleep. I myself got about five, but I don't know. We'll see. Back on the bus. So we're about an hour or two from Seattle, maybe. Getting there in the rain. Um, so we're getting close to the end of the bus portion of the challenge. It's actually a 36 hour challenge. So once the guys, uh, once we drop them off, they're going to be working until 10 p.m., which is the submission deadline. Um, so this is our second challenge that we're running at Start Bus. We're going to be running these around the country. Um, what these challenges are doing is we're getting these people to work on challenging projects and seeing what they can do at the end of it. In this particular challenge, we're getting people to work with Intel's uh, app up and implementing the SDK that Intel has, which a lot of the people here have never used before. Uh, and I think 
we're getting some surprising results out of it because uh, people are finding it easier to use than they expected. Um, what's been interesting to watch is there's been an increased focus on people to use ASTEM or Vibe to develop those apps. So that's kind of cool to see because that's sort of reflecting a trend in the industry. Um, but it's interesting to see that they've all got their heads down and they're just working, they're ignoring all the beautiful scenery and they're really focused on trying to uh, go from what they started this bus ride with, which was nothing to the functional app that will be in this, you know, uh, in this store for people to be able to download. And um, so they're all very focused right now, they've got a lot of work to go still. So. Connectivity could have been better, but the driving, the driving is wrong. How was your ride on the bus? Hey, hey epic. My name is Bart. I'm working on a um, style browser app. Um, it's basically a very ba simple app. It just shows you a picture or a nice picture of uh, dresses and it shows you one picture. You say whether you like it or not. And it's a recommendation engine that based on what you like and don't like um, keeps feeding you more and more stuff you like and if it's something you really like you click buy and you can buy it and the good thing is we make some affiliate revenue of that so we can make some money from this app as well. So what's the name of your game Larry? Uh, touch Fighter. Touch Fighter. Yeah, so you touch a screen. So you touch a screen. So oh, play. so the touch screen, the yes. bombs, yeah, the explosions. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow! Love the graphics. That's wicked. Awesome. And you programmed all of this in uh, OpenGL, huh? Yep. Awesome. So, are you are you planning on submitting any other uh, games to the games to the store? I already put it. Yeah. In the bus, I put it another game. Oh, and they're going to choose so the winners by So let me show you this another game I put it. Cool. Uh, yeah. That's a four in one game. So oh, authorizing. Really? Yeah, authorizing. Authorizing. Yeah. Oh, it's a four in one. Awesome. So you can play the chess. I think. Oh, cool. Play Chinese chess. Chinese chess, oh neat. Japanese chess. Japanese chess. Oh nice. Okay. Go. Do you know Go? Yeah, I know Go. Oh nice. Wicked. Well, congratulations. I can't wait to see that come out as a winner because that's some wicked graphics. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Martin. Uh, I've been working on the Eco Manager. Uh, for the last 36 hours on the startup bus. Mm. This is my application. The Eco Manager allows you to register people to small events and conferences. You can basically edit contact details and register them to events. And then, and then the application allows you to print a name badge or a business card on an Ooh. attached label writer. And, and this should make uh, contact, uh, contact exchange easier. Awesome. And so, and you're planning to put this onto uh, smartphones in the future, so people can sign up. Yes, in the in the future, people can can sign up from uh, on a website from their smartphones, and then by the time they attend the event, everything will be ready in place. Awesome. Congratulations on your 36-hour you. app. Thank you. <laughs>